all huff and all puff and all blow your house down. Oh no, please don't do that, Wolf. Please don't do that. Ah. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina with the Purple Alphabet, and today is the day we announce our giveaway winner from last week. Stay tuned to the end of the video, and I do hope that you'll watch all the way through to show Lakeshore your appreciation for the giveaway. So before we get to that, I'm going to talk to you about this really awesome product from Lakeshore Learning. They did send me this product to show you and to tell you about, and I can't wait for you to check this out. It is the Fairy Tales Problem Solving Kit, the Three Little Pigs, and it's a STEM program. This kit is recommended for three years and up, and this is so much fun. So inside the box, you get these little wooden platforms. There's 36. There's two different sizes. They're kind of like wood slats and they're lacquer too, so they have a nice feel to them. You get these kind of skinnier ones and these bigger ones. And then it also comes with these um, blocks. They're called house building blocks. There's 18 of these and they have little slits in them, a little bit different on each block. Then you get these really cool storytelling figures, the big bad wolf, and of course the three little pigs. And these are a pretty good size, a couple inches, maybe three, four inches in height. You get this fabulous teacher's card that's laminated in the storybook. It has a great lesson plan on the back and a reproducible sheet here that's um, kind of like a dry erase material, but you can reproduce this if you have multiple students. And then these are the three student cards that come with the kit as well. And then on the back has some great teacher steps on here and how to teach this to your kids. Now, I really think Lakeshore Learning hit it out of the park with this one, as they always do, and I am in love with this. It's really amazing that you can apply this as young as the preschool age. So first, you would take the instruction book here and review the story of the three little pigs with your children, and it's a common story, and it's a lot of fun, and you can act it out and read it, and there's some great pictures on here as well. When you start to talk about how the houses weren't able to withstand and why and why they fell over, you start the, the fact-finding process on how to create a bigger and better house, right? That's where the fun comes in and you start to use this great reproducible. You encourage your children to draw a picture of what a good house would look like using all the materials in the kit. And you get them to conceptualize what that would look like here. Now I know what you're thinking, how is a three-year-old going to think to that extent? The variety of pictures that you'll get drawn are gonna be different per child. They could just be a whole bunch of lines. They could be a huge castle that's elaborate. Whatever it is, that's fine. You're starting the thought process of how to solve the problem of a house that's gonna withstand being blown over. You can also use these little cards for the students that help you walk through the process. So this first step that we're on right now is planning. And there's great little instructions down here that are cute. Draw a house made of pieces that will hold three pigs and not blow down. The next card says to create and build your house with all of the pieces. So now they take their drawing that they've done and all of the pieces and begin to create according to their model. The pieces fit right into these blocks. And after playing with this with some time, you guys, there is quite the variety that you can do. For sake of example, let's say this is my house. Now, the objective is that you should be able to fit all of the piggies inside. So if I were to stand this up, I'd have to make sure all of the pigs could stand inside the house. Now, when I played with this with my children, we got a little bit more elaborate and made something that was a little bit less two-dimensional, but for the camera and demonstration purposes, I just made something really simple. And then the last step is to test. So you're gonna try with one puff, two puffs, and three puffs with the big bad wolf. Here's my wolf so my kids can play along, and we actually did this and it was so much fun. And you try to blow the house down. Now this house would probably fall down pretty quickly because it's not really substantial, right? Then you can go back and do the process all over again. Why didn't this work? What could we have done better to change it? Let's do the whole process over again and redo our plan. And then you work through the whole process until you find a house that's substantial. So once you do your new plan, you can go ahead and build a bigger, better house until you have something that can withstand the wolf's blowing. So I have to tell you guys, I am really impressed. I did not think that this was going to go over very well with my three-year-old. Actually, she's three and a half. And she thought this was so much fun. Um, I even loved doing it with my children as well, creating something with these materials. And as we went through and practiced, I mean, we were doing all kinds of platforms down here on the bottom. We were trying all kinds of different ways. And she loved trying to fit all of the pigs inside. And I was just so impressed 
at her creativity at that age. So STEM can be done this young. And as you can see here, I have a roof on my house now, a little bit more elaborate. And can the wolf blow this down? Probably not. Last week we had a video where I showed you the magnetic alphabet 10 from Lakeshore Learning and everybody loved it and Lakeshore wanted to give one away. And so that winner is, here's the name. I'll be contacting you with your, for your email address and Lakeshore Learning will be sending you your tin directly. Thanks for participating in my giveaway. Give me a thumbs up to show your love. Click subscribe if you haven't already to see more videos like this and I'll see you next time. And print them out and use them. This makes a great busy bag. They are just flashcards and what you do is match them up.